In this video, we're gonna talk about secrets being buried deep, and you'll see what I mean by the end of this video. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Sam and Twitch Case Files, issue number two, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So if you watched the first video, we left off with Max getting a message from Drim Treshel, a friend of his from the police academy about a case that he needs help solving. But before we get there, we have to go to Sam. Sam shows up to Twitch's house with a bottle of wine and apologizes to Twitch's wife Helen and just asks if Twitch is there. He brings flowers and a bottle of wine like, like he knows he messed up. But he's so all over the place that when he goes in the house, he looks for Sam first, not realizing that, hey, the wine and the flowers are for her. So Twitch is like, I knew I heard your voice, so what's up? And Helen, you can tell she's getting upset by this. And Twitch is like, don't worry, baby, he ain't gonna be long. So Sam is not even sure where to start with this apology. First, he's like, I know I messed up. I know you're mad at me, but we've been through a lot together. By the way, I bought you this book, War and Peace. You drove all this way just to bring me a book. Notice how Helen is drinking her glass of vino, kind of like in a way of getting more liquid courage, if you want to say that. So as Sam keeps pouring out his heart, Twitch is like, when is enough enough? You're off the hinges and you're affecting me and you're affecting my family. Well, then Sam's like, well, don't worry, man. I told the chief that this wasn't your fault, that he should lift your suspension. It's all my fault. Yeah, you apologize, but how long is it going to be until you do this thing again? I'm tired of stuff. You know what I mean? And Sam's like, that's why I'm here. I'm trying to fix all this. And Helen has had enough. That liquid courage turns into liquid outbursts right now. Enough. Let me tell you what my husband's too scared to say. You see? See this Sam what you've done to my family I've tolerated you for years kept my mouth shut out of respect but if you want to sabotage your career do that but don't sabotage my husband's career all right now leave my husband out of it now take your damn wine and get the hell out of my house what about the flowers he gave you too you're not gonna give that back so Sam has to leave all pissed off but meanwhile we see twitch go on this road trip to Plainfield Indiana notice the population from what it was to what it is now crossed off in red so obviously twitch and his wife Helen have an argument over it but he has to leave to take this case or whatever this case is so Jim Trestle leaves Max another message just wondering if he got my message from earlier are you gonna come so what twitch is not calling him back twitch is not texting him back he's just gonna show up unannounced kind of like what Sam did but this this is a different thing though. So when he gets to the town, he notices that it's definitely not New York. It's cleaner, seems more peaceful. His guard can go down a little bit, but what is really going on here? So when he arrives at Plainfield, Indiana police headquarters, he's just like, why am I so nervous about this? Probably because when you're nervous before doing something, you're about to do something really courageous and bold. I don't know. That's just my personal experience and my personal opinion. But what do you guys think? So these two officers walk out the office and they're talking about Fred being a nutcase. Nothing related to the book, just two bros having a standard conversation. But this guy notices Twitch, puts his hand or about to put his hand in his gat like, hey, yo, buddy, can I help you with something? Yeah, says Twitch. I'm looking for Detective Trestle. Well, he's busy, but maybe I can help you with something. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm Detective Williams. Jim reached out to me, so I thought I'd come here and see him in person. Wait a minute. You're his friend from New York, right? Yes. Oh, my God. So now that greet from earlier where it's kind of like my guards up turns to, hey, my guard is down. You're cool. You're part of one of the boys. We heard so much about you from you guys back in the academy, you know? And Twitch is like, I know I came unannounced, but is the bro busy or what? Don't worry. I'll make it a good time for him. It'll be a good time. Well, 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 what do we have here? Jim Trussell comes out, and he's like, wait a minute. Your last text message said you'll think about it. What changed? Hey man, things change. That's all Twitch can say. So they bring it in, bro hug, bro shake. They small talk. How's the wife? How's the kids? How's life? Do you talk to anyone from the academy? No, not really. Same here. So glad you're here. We could have been great partners. Just catching up, you know? And what they both have in common now is they're both detectives. So Detective Trestle tells Mark, the guy from earlier when Twitch ran into him outside the police station, tells Mark that he's going to get Max a hotel room and tell the boys you guys can meet me at the Fairmont. Whatever that means. That sounds like a pretty good bar. I don't mind being at after 5 o'clock. What's going on with this case? Tell me about this case, says Twitch. <laughs> It's multiple homicides, a potential serial killer. And I just notice it right now. There's this homeless guy that they keep passing by. First time Twitch passing by in the beginning, which I did not do a good job of highlighting. And now this is the second time. Keep that in mind. That's some potential foreshadowing right there. And even though Trust was like, you know, this homicide might be something you're used to in New York, but I'm not. And me, me and my team are not used to this. So we can really use your help. And Twitch is like, any suspects? No, the labs are still doing their thing. Any victim IDs yet? DNA comes back tomorrow, we don't know. We've run missing persons in the state, haven't found any connections yet. 
Though I think we're pretty skilled here, says Detective Trestle. Having an outsider like you can be really of good help to us, all right? So keep your receipts. We'll reimburse your expense. Get settled into your hotel room. I'll pick you up tomorrow. They shake off. Twitch goes into his hotel room and checks in and just tells him I'll see you in the morning. Don't forget your pancakes kind of thing, right? As of right now, I know this issue starting off pretty boring, but come on now. What kind of secrets are you burying deep? This is a whole lot of foreplay before you get into some climactic action, if you get what I'm saying. So Detective Trussell gets in the car and his boys are like, how to go? Well, it went great, man. He's going to be a big help for us. So now back to that homeless person. Early. They pull over and Detective Trussell's like, hey, man, I'm with the county police. And unfortunately, you can't be here. You know, special ordinances. But if you want... Hop in, I'll give you a lift, I'll give you some 40 bucks, you can get yourself a warm meal. The homeless guy is like, nice town you got here. Yeah, thanks man, but where are you from? This guy says he's from Boston. He had a job in Fort Phil for a while, but the plant got shut down, so he's just doing his best to survive. And I think Detective Trestle's kind of sus about this guy, like, all right, man, well, sorry to hear that, so we'll drop you off here, best of luck to you, all right? So hours later, this guy's walking in the dark in this eerie feel. This looks dark and gritty. A very friendly, <laughs> very friendly, super duper friendly vamp pulls up and is like, hey man, you need a ride, mister? Well, yes I do. We'll hop in the back. Where are you heading? I'm going to Indianapolis. Now, how far is that from Plainsville, Indiana? We don't know. And what's this guy up to? We don't know. But as the van drives off, we don't know what kind of secrets are buried deep until the next issue of Sam and Twitch, issue number three. What you guys think of this comic book? Comment below. Let me know. I know you probably feel like I did this review and nothing materialized other than just planting seeds that's the thing when you plant seeds you got to water it and eventually when you water it enough it's going to grow but we don't want no three or four more issues until we see that seed come to flourish we want some action and i'm sure we'll get that at issue number three as more things unfold also don't forget to check out ratedcomics.com for some really cool limited print rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection support the art support the industry lastly this video is sponsored by coffee so if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee link in description or donate to the super thanks but the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.